Now in this module, we'll go through another method that is finding the square root through prime factorization. So you've already learned what a prime number is. So can you tell me what is a prime number? So prime number is a natural number which is greater than 1 and whose only factors are 1 and the number itself. So can you tell me what is prime factorization? Correct. Prime factorization of a number is the method in which a number is factorized into the only prime numbers that multiply to give the given number. Let's take an example. So for example, what are the prime factors of a number 6? So they are 2 and 3. And that's because 2 multiplied by 3, it gives us 6. So the prime factorization of 6 is 6 is equals to 2 multiplied by 3, where 2 and 3, they are prime numbers. Let's now discuss how to find the square root through prime factorization. So for that, let's first compare the prime factorization of 6 and its square. So what is the square of 6? Yes, 6 square is equals to 36. And now the prime factors of 36 are 2, 2, 3 and 3. That is the prime factorization of 36 is 36 which is equivalent to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 which is further multiplied by 3. Okay, so here you can see that 2 and 3 they occur once in the prime factorization of 6 while in the square of 6 that is 36 they occur twice or we can say that they occur in pairs. So we can infer that each prime factor in the prime factorization of the square of a number it occurs twice the number of times it occurs in the prime factorization of the number itself. So here if we pair the prime factors of 36 then we get 36 to be equal to 2 square multiplied by 3 square or this can be written as 2 into 3 whole square. Now next we are going to take the square root on both the sides which gives us square root of 36 is equals to 2 into 3 and we know that square and square roots they are inverse operations so that's why they have cancelled each other out here or we can also say that we'll take one number from each pair. So this gives us square root of 36 to be equal to 6. Students, do you know why we have used prime factors and not any other factors? For example, we could have expressed 36 as 2 into 18, but we didn't do it that way. So can you think of a reason for this? Yes, here we cannot pair any factor. If you want to pair the factors, then we'll have to find the factors of 18 as well. Prime numbers are the only factors that cannot be factorized further. So it is easy to find the square root of a number through prime factorization method.